This is myself. I'm Terry Downs. I'm the interim director of the Carl Jarrett Art Gallery. And this is Noelle Stillman. She's the graduate assistant for the Carl Jarrett Art Gallery. And we were instrumental in putting together this, this cooperative exhibit done with the assistance of Paulette Brace over there. Paulette is Paulette. Queen Wave. Queen Wave. <laughs> Annette Mitchell. Area artist and, and famous regional artist as well. This is a special exhibit and it was not planned. It happened spontaneously to a certain extent, which the, in the planning of the 250th anniversary of the town of Plymouth, the, the committee inquired about having an exhibit of area artists and it took time to figure out a venue. The venue request came to me and I said, well, certainly, and, and here we are. And I think this is a great opportunity for the university to uh, demonstrate how it's integrated with the local uh, community and the state and the region in a way like this because all of these artists are within the vicinity of the town of Plymouth and the, town, and the university, Plymouth State University, and many of them were former students. So there's a, there's a lot of connections and there's a lot of creativity. And this gallery, the Carl Drup Art Gallery, tooting my own horn, is, in my view, the best venue around for demonstrating the art of the area and the state. So I'm, I'm, I'm very enthusiastic to have this opportunity to show this body of work. Well, I believe we, that we have a collection of over 20 artists that came together to put this show on. This thing that's uh, here on the wall by Jong Yoon Kim, who I feel is a genius artist. He works here in the Plymouth State University Art Department, so that's a great piece. I'd also like to point out this piece down here. This is by Jim Fortune, who is an area artist, lives in Holderness. And this is a wood engraving he did back in 1965 and under the tutelage of Carl Drerup, whom the gallery is named. This piece over here is Annette Mitchell, and that's a, a a print done in her, her well-known block printing approach and you can see the kind of versatility that it has. That's the senior center. This is a rather nice piece. It's the only 3D piece in the show, unfortunately. This is by Tamara Mann. She's a recent graduate, recent uh, assistant of the, of the gallery and she has the community uh, clay center out in, in uh, West Plymouth. This is Fred Nold. I, I think this is a wild painting and it's well done. I like the, the intense color with these uh, man-made objects, I think they're really quite effective. This painting over here, I wanted to draw your attention to, which I think is a, a rather remarkable painting. I like the triptych aspect of it. I like the kind of um, uh, funky, uh, kitschy kind of wooden frame, homemade frame. It's really pretty intense. A lot of people like this because of the, the kind of transparent sensation. It's almost like this is a, a ghost of the past coming into the present, which is what the senior center is now. So it's kind of uh, sophisticated in many respects. Mimsy Uller is the artist here. Larry Cohen. This is an old landscape painting of his that he did a long time ago. It's got that sense of a blizzard. <laughs> Which is, uh, as I was saying earlier, about winter paintings. You don't, it's hard to do. You don't see too many of them. This is Shopping for Art at Artistic Roots. And she's made a, a whole series of these kinds of uh, uh, works on paper with ink and watercolor. And uh, she has a, a kind of spontaneous, casual response to it that gives uh, a sense of life and movement to her work. And it would be nice to have a show of her somewhere around here.